Okay. I've been looking forward to today because we've never done this together. And so this may have happened to some of y'all before. Oh, you who and Travis Tritt. Ain't nothing but y'all all up here while I'm sitting here. So hey everybody, happy Friday. So while I was sleeping, I think I while I was sleeping, I got a message from Thinker Swing. So this is really good. I'm so glad this happened because I wanted to show y'all this. Because y'all may have gone through this and you go, what do I do? Hello, Bobby Ray, they say. If y'all call me Bobby Ray, I swear. Oh, I bet you like a fish. Uh, hello, Bobby Ray. Due to the changes in the value of the position in your futures account, blah, 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 blah our clearinghouse, in other words, let's blame it on someone else other than you know, our clearinghouse, has issued a margin call. The call is due today and must be met by either, now give me some choices. I like choices in life. Liquidating a portion of your positions, option stock, future, market appreciation based on the product's official settlement price, or by writing funds that must be received today. Upon sending funds, you got to notify us, blah, blah, blah. Failure to take action may reduce in a forced liquidation and a one day restriction from trading futures. Unbelievable. So when did they send this? This came to me while I was still in the fetal position with a thumb in my mouth, uh, you know, slobber coming outside my mouth at 6.41 a.m. What, Beth? I'm not disgusting. You're telling it like it is. Do I slobber or not during my sleep? Yes, I do. Beth, hush, 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 hush. So let's see what's going on. Don't you have something to do, Beth, like baking a cake? Yep. All right, let's see what's happening. Turn in the chair. Aha. All right, so let's see what's going on today. Wow, we're down three points, y'all. But most importantly, we are down below the 4,500 level. 4,479. Unbelievable. So we are down just a little bit. Let's say the AD, you know, it's pretty flat, 48. As you can see, since uh, 1230 today, lunchtime choppiness. And you can easily see it here, lunchtime choppiness going between this little, maybe was this overnight low? I'm guessing, and up to the whatever level that is, and going up to VWAP and coming back down. So, you know, pretty boring. It looks like everybody's going on vacation. It is Friday. So everybody's just kind of, you know, tuckering around. Let's see what the, the our little volume profile says. So it looks like a nothing burger type of day. And, <clears throat> well, looky here. Look at the spy. It's below all three of those moving averages, 20, the 50, and the 200 period moving averages, 30-minute uh, periods, right? 230-minute periods. So we're down below there, but we're still fairly priced. And now we have popped under the value area low from the point of control. So very interesting there. Let's look at it on the ES. Turn my fan on. If that's loud, y'all, I apologize. I need a little air. Wow, look at this. What does price do? Price goes all the way down here into the oversold condition. And then like magic, it says, hey, wait a minute. We can't stay out in here. Bobby's drawing a green line. So if he's drawing a green line, we got to go back above the green line. And now we're playing with the green line again. Isn't that cool? Just love how that works out. So what am I seeing? I'm seeing business as usual, even though we are weak below the 20, 50, and 200. We're below the 50%. We're below the value area low. We're below the point of control on volume. Very, 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 very interesting. Okay. So if it does go into this area, we think that it's oversold and will likely pop back up at some point. We don't know. But what am I seeing? I'm seeing kind of business as usual. Now let's go to our SKU driver. So let's go to our SKU driver. SKU driver. So what's the SKU driver telling me today? Skew driver is at looked at 520. 520. I'm kind of waiting for it to change. 520, 510, 525 is 30 away. 515 is 35 away. I'm just looking. So, you know, 51 between 30 and 35, right? Closer probably to 30. There's 5.25. There it is, 30 away. 5.2 is 30 away. 
So we want to see the spread that is trading for 520. How far away is it from the market? And it is 30 even. Look at that. Cool stuff, y'all. So yesterday it was 31. So today it's 30. What is that telling us? It's telling us this business as usual. That that number is normally between 25 and 35. And it is right in the middle. So no problem there. See? Looks really good. Just kind of hanging out. So I don't think that we have much to concern ourselves with. With the, uh, I don't think we're going to fall out of bed in the skew driver. So skew driver looks pretty good. All right. So now let's go. So the market's down just a bit. And then I've got a margin call. So let me see how much margin I got to get rid of. Let's see what they're saying here. Let me open it on my phone where it'll show me how much, I think it was like $2,000 or something. So I either got to put 2,000 in or I need to close stuff that's going to, you know, saying I'm, I have available dollars of negative 2,300. So probably the easiest thing to do would say, where is my most margin coming from? Where am I using my margin? All right, so here's the buying power efficiency. You say, man, my micros, dude, I got $17,000 worth of buying power use there. Look at there, I got positive buying power with my ES positions because we've got all those loans, right? Uh, SPX taking up a little bit. These are all positive. These are my AIM stuff. Uh, what else is taking up buying power position? Look at that. What is, what am I saying? Five, 10, 14, 10,000 to the negative. So 16, that's 20,000. These others are giving me so really the buying power problems are coming from my, really predominantly my micro position. Yeah, okay, not a big deal. Let's see what we need to do. Let's show groups. All right, so let's just go through some of our stuff. So this is broken wing butterfly put side, which is probably down. It is just a little bit. Okay. Then we got the one, one, one that we put on yesterday. It's up 1050, praise the Lord. Buying power efficiency, negative $15,000. Surely that's not just that position, right? Sure. Let's see what else we have. Butterfly one. How you doing, Butterfly one? Down 750. Butterfly one expires in three days. That one expires on Monday. Broken wing butterfly put 17 that we just put off. It's down a little bit. 1119. Yeah, so there it is, the 15,000. So it's using 15,000 uh, for all of my micro positions. Okay, that's cool. So that one is up a little bit with 49 days to go. Uh, AIM, how's AIM doing? AIM's down just a little bit today. Uh, one, 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 third. This thing's up $97. Now, interestingly enough, look, this shows that this taking up $1,041, and it's at 100% profit. It's at 100% profit. So what could we do with this? I guess we could close that. With seven days to go, it's up 100%, right? Let me see if it'll let me close it as a, as a full thing. Sell two verticals. Sell two verticals. Sell two puts. Sell two. You know, it just seems complicated. So why don't we do this? Why don't we close this at 94%? Close in order, buy those two back. Now, remember, we sold those at 20. So now we're getting to buy those back for a dollar 20. That's a whopping profit. Oh, yeah. Close that. All right, that failed. A dollar 20. Now let's close that puts them spread as well. Let's close those out. So now my buying power, that helped me a lot, didn't it? I'm just going to go ahead and close out the whole train. Hold your control key down. Let's close this, create a closing order. So we'll sell that little puppy at 95 to 120. So if we're selling it, we want to get as much money as we can. Projected your buying power will be below zero if this order is accepted. Unbelievable. Okay. This is one of those things too, y'all, where you start going and you, you start doing these type things and it flips out like on the day when you know you're up 200 percent you start trying to close something that won't let you close it so let me put me a note here let's change this i'm gonna go change the name of it 
Let, let me close it now. Let me close now. Close today. I don't want to close it. Hold on a second. Now let me see what my buying power is now. All right, so we were 2,300 in the hole. Now we're 2,000 in the hole. Okay, so we're making progress. Let's look at the 1116 is up 87%. The whole trade's up, you know, and, and I guess, you know, I'd love to close the whole order, but it looks like it won't let me. Let's just sell the vertical. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, so that won't let me. So let me close my shorts again on that one. We'll just take a little profit, take a little bit of these off. It's up 90%. No need to necessarily hold it. So let's close these three here. Create closing order. Buy those back. We sold them at 20. So let's try to buy them back at 650. See if we can get through. And nothing. Jack squat crap. Nothing. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to try something else. I want you to show you this too. Cancel replace. So we'll pay up to 675. Take our profits. All right, beautiful. Now let's see what my buying power is. Okay, that did really good. So now our buying power went from negative 2,000 and our buying power went down to negative 816. Now this is kind of interesting too. I just want to see if this makes a difference in buying power. Do you remember when I told y'all that if we have these GTC orders on, that they can actually uh, tap into our buying power, right? So let's see if they are. Let's just kind of play with it. Unallocated. So unallocated is ES, and it says it's got a buying power effect of $98. So it's not having much of a buying power, but I just wanna see if it, indeed, if I were to cancel these, if it would uh, increase my buying power. So I'm at 826 now, I cancel that one, and it gave me $6 of buying power. By doing that, oh, it gave me more than that. So now I'm gonna cancel this, if it has any effect whatsoever. Cancel that. Just see if it had any effect on my buying power. Really didn't. So now I said my if it's, it's my buying power is at about negative eight fourteen. Okay, good. So I just closed. What was that? The one one fourth. Right. We just closed. No, no, no. Okay. Which one was I just closed? It. Let's see. And maybe it was the one 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 six. Right. Yeah, we got rid of that. So 1116. Uh, let me go to the 1117, see what that looks like. We're up 116 bucks on that one. Nice, up 1650 on the day. So what could you do? You could take these three off for your $131 profit. Claim it, baby. I'm just closing stuff, taking profits. Uh, let's go see if we can buy those back at 13. Give me something. Give me something. Something, 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 something. Yeah. It's going to make me go to 1325. All right, so we bought those back. So now, all of a sudden, I'm out of the margin call. I'm out of the margin call. Now I have available $469 positive. Now that's interesting. So let me go one, 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 six and seven. We're going to close those today too. That's all we can. I call it. I'm going to go rename group. Close today. Did that was one, 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 six. I'm just making me some notes. Rename group, close today. Taking a little profits. I'd rather close profitable trades than losing trades, right? Let's take the profits on those lines. All right, now let's go to our little, what's our little micro strangle do? We're up $15 on the whole thing, but that's probably taking up a lot of buying power. So what will we do? Let's close it. Create closing order. What, man? Move to the mat. 
Let's see if we get close at 1629. Legal price. That's right. It's going to let me do it on. Then why would you even let me choose it? That's what I got to say. Hold on. Let's go ahead. Right Very close of order. Strangle. Should let me go for 1625. Beautiful. So we're out of that with a little bit of profit. So now my available buying power is $911, $911. Go figure, tomorrow's 911. All right, so we got that one closed. So let's go back, let's take that off the table. So we create. All right, let's see how our space trip trades are doing. See, regardless what this does, seems like that one's always just up 100. How much buying power is that taking? Uh, not much, negative a little bit. Uh, those we don't worry about. We just let those expire. That one's up 125, no big deal. All right, so this is where the bulk of our five powers you know, at, right? So this one is at 35. Let's see, PL open. Let's, oh my gosh, what is that? So we could close the most profitable or not. It's just to relieve a little buying power. We got several of these little puppies in here. So let's take our 3750 and go to Applebee's. We sold that around. Let's see if we can get it for 1225. Yeah, that one. I'm just relieving a little buying power. No big deal. Trying to keep Minker Swim happy. Filled there. We'll go up to 1250. Out that one. There. Took a profit there. Let's close one more. Just take a little profit off the table. So we've got this one for $37.50 as well. Let's close that. $12.25 is the net. We're going to try it at 12. Feel me. Yeah. Beautiful. So we closed a couple of those. So the big thing that I want you to do is if you ever get a monitor call, uh, a margin call, don't panic. That's the, you know, I got it at six o'clock this morning. I found out this morning and I said, oh boy. That makes our class a little more interesting, right? Because we've never done this before. We've never lived through that before. So now let's see if we can close one of these things. We've got enough buying power to close this little puppy. Let's see what it's doing now. We may have to close it by a single. I don't know. What? Okay, there. Now we're going to close. Sell two of those verticals. How much buying power is it taking me to do it? Buying power fit 239. Looks like it's letting me do it, which is sweet. We're 115 credit, so we need to pop that down a little bit. Let's do 110. Working it, working it, working it, baby. We're working it. 105. Anybody? There we go. We're out of that one. And let me see what my buying power is. Oh, y'all, we're good now. We're at $1,445 in buying power. So we're good. All right, so let's see. That one's closed. I like that. So let's just delete this all together. Delete that group because it's gone. Then we're going to close a couple more, won't we? Let's see if we can close these two down. And closing order, sell three verticals, minus 25 credit, that would be nice. Work, 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 minus 25, minus 20, minus 15. <coughs> yeah, that's one of those that's going to let me do it on a certain price. That's all right. Let's close the order. 
$5 credit, $5.25 credit, $5 credit. Boom, out. Just getting out on a couple of these things. Close that, so we're out of that, so we can delete this. I don't want to delete too many things, because I don't care if I get another margin call next week. It's fine. We'll just close profitable stuff. You always got something. If you got a lot of trades on, normally you got something profitable, something you take off the, the table. So what else would I say I was going to close today? I said I was going to close these. So let's do those two. Let's see what credit we'll get for those two little things. Great close of order. Sell those. They're going for $9.25. See if we can get it. Probably not. Go back to nine on that. Nine. Come on, fill them. Fill them, fill them, fill them. Eight seventy five going once. Eight seventy five going twice. I want to get out. Otherwise, I'd probably just let them work a minute. Out, 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 out. Just get out. There we go. Now let's see how we stick them. Should be pretty full. There we got those closed. Those are all out. Delete that. Good, beautiful. Now, let's see. So we're up $238 between 82. It's flipping all over the place. It doesn't know we're up 95, 87. So we're up a little bit on the day and we've closed some profitable trades. And most importantly, we have gone from a place of being in a margin call where we've got available dollars to trade $1,349. Beautiful. And we all took it, didn't take a single losing trade, right? So that was kind of cool. All right, so now let's go look at the other account. Let's look at, let's see what's going on in the chat. Bobby, it might be that the September 10th, 30th, 10 count of 2,500 loan puts is trading as a cabinet, loan accounts to else on the buying power. Yeah, that may be the case. Good point. All right, hold on, let's see what we're doing. Let's go. What are we doing on the other account? This is fun, isn't it? Pull, 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 pull. Here we go. Let's see how this counts. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. What's wrong with this one? Unbelievable. What's wrong with you? I don't know. What is this? Something's freezing up on me. Yeah, I want to close it. Hold on a minute. I'm going to close it. Dang it. Hold on a second. Task manager. Task manager. Let's close it. Epic. 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 Tasty works. Let's close it. Anything else I'm going to close? Let me wave browser. Sniffing two. Let's close it. Amazon Music. We don't need any more music. We're music out. Yeah. Now let's open Tasty Works back see if we can figure out what's going on over there. See if we got any changes. Look at that, y'all. I mean, it's crazy that the the showing I'm making a profit, I'm making a loss. Weird. Initializing real cruise to show them. While we're doing that, well, here we go. Let me go on my hide and stuff and I press privacy. Privacy. All right, so I don't have a lot of buying power here either, right? I'm, I've only got $205 in buying power here. So let's just see what's going on with these little pup pups. Here's my options. So we've got a unbelievable, what is this? Three days, three days. What did I put on? Oh, we put on a butterfly trade, didn't we? We did a butterfly in the ES with three days to go. That's what that is. All right, gotcha. 
Uh, what's the ES here? It's our space strip trades, our flax one hedges, blah, 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 blah. Here's our micros, seven, three, twos. Those are all one, one, one trades, I think, after we closed, closed them up yesterday. Now, here we go. We've got some of these that we could probably take off. 98 days. Oh, yeah, I did a strangle 98 days, didn't I? 50, 50, 30, 40. So we could close that since I closed it in the other account. I say we could, I say we could close that. Close position. You can let them work or you can move them around a little bit. Of course, 19 debit, so maybe go up. And then a quarter. That should fill us out. Believable. Get me out of this thing. Does it get me out of both of them? Yeah, there they are. Now we got filled on there. Now we've got $79. Now we've got $90 of buying power. That's cool. So at least we don't have a margin call over here yet. Just closing a couple things. Let's see what else we got here. So this is, we've got a 49. That's up, let's see, NL percentage, there's what we got. Let's do it again, NL percentage, NL percentage. All right, 27%, 40%, that one's up 40%, up $37 at 35 days. Yeah, take, a profit, take a profit on that one. Let's try for 1125. Going once, going twice. I'm going to go up to 1150. And we'll just get it. Now we got us a little more buying power. Look at that. There we go. Now let's go back to position. See if there's anything else that I want to take off. That was up 38 bucks. We have how many days to go? 35. Yeah, let's take that one too. Get just a little more cushion. Take our profits. Nineteen. So now we got two thousand dollars of buying power. Very greedy. Anything else we want to take off? Let's just look one more time. Looking at my percentages. That's a one one one. Thank you, thank you, Majig. Those are all one one ones. Up a little bit, up a little bit. Okay, good. Now let's look at our broken wing butterfly for today. Let's see what it looks like. We've got one today that's expiring. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Look at that, y'all. We got this thing expiring today. What do we got here? We got a just a credit spread or look at that. We do, don't we? That is a 10 point wide um, put credit spring that looks like it will expire worthless today. And look at this little puff. Wowzer, wowzer. Let's see what we could close it for. So the price is at 44.84 and our strikes is at 44.85. Wow, we never had one of these hit, have we? Let's try that one. Hey, close it though. Again, twice. Unbelievable. Hold on a minute. Let me go to my positions. SPX. Let's see if this guy that does a butterfly here. Here we go. So we got this butterfly close full, the full Madugi. So it's going to let me close it right now at 30 cents. I don't think I want to close it though. I don't think I'm going to close it at 20 cents, 30 cents. 
because we put this on for what? A dollar to 95 cents. We could close it at 10%, take the risk off. But, you know, as, as the day goes on, uh, we might just stay at this 44.85 and kind of kind of hit it a little better. So this is a yeah debit to close it. I don't know. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, let's look at it on the analysis tab. See if we can see what it looks like. See if I can take all my. It's probably going to be better to see it over over here. So where's the one that's expiring today? Broken bean butterfly. I think it would be. I need to start putting the expiration dates on these. Let's see. Here it is. So this one expires today. Broken wing butterfly puts 10. All right, so let's go to analyze. Let's get one expiration. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Uh, let's go to. Broken wing butterfly puts 10. Let's see what she looks like. Ta da! Single symbol. All series. Show all. Five simulations. So there she is. There she is. One expiration. Come on, little fella. Go out. So we can show everybody how pretty you are. Stretch it out. There we go. Look at there, y'all. We might hit the butterfly. So I think my best course of action is to do nothing right now. This expires today. It shows you right now where it's at. But 9-11, <laughs> which is, you know, at day's end, this isn't one of those AM expirations, is it? No, it's Friday, so we should be good. It's okay. Yeah, we're fine. It's not one of those AM expressions, so we're good. So three, four o'clock today, Eastern time. So we're gonna watch this. So we got an hour and a half to watch it. You know, hoping it stays around the forty-four eighty-five area. Uh, kind of cool on that. And then our JoJo's first trade, he's gonna want the money from it. Should end up fully profitable. Let's see back to the table. JoJo's trade that he made was right here. And it looks like that has an excellent chance of uh, expiring totally worthless. All right, so now we've got a little bit of buying power. Well, we've got a little bit of buying power here, option buying power, we don't have a lot. Do we? But we probably got enough to do what we normally do. Let's go SPX and let's sell our next broken wing butterfly that we like doing so often. We'll go long put butterfly. I'm going to snap the back leg, she pop. So this is going to take us $340 of our buying power. That's fine. Move our strikes downward to where we collect about a dollar. About right there. We'll move it down to a dollar. See if we get filled. Five wide there, 10 wide there. Come on. And we'll replace it. 95 cents. And that one should fill. Beautiful. So we're in our butterfly trade at 19 days out. And remember, that's our zero DTE trade for 19 days out. So in 19 days, you and I'll be trading a zero DTE, and maybe we'll have an exciting day like we're having today with this one that might hit the big bucks. All right, so let's trade SPX at 19 days out, and we're going to go to the 4440. 4440. 4440. So we're going to buy. Hold your control key down. We're going to sell the 4435s, and we're going to go 10 points down from that, and we're going to buy the 4425. And then we're going to make that body bigger than the rest. So we'll try to get 95 over here. And 
in. I think we got two. Come on, baby. Here we go. So let's put that in as a butterfly. So we can group it over here. Let's go find it. Unallocated SPX. Uh, I say unallocated the SP freaking SPX. It's open up. There you go. So control, control, control. Right click. Oh, I need control, control, control. Right click. Move to group. Add a group. All this. BWB. BWB puts. I don't know where we at. Nineteen. Oh, top. So we gotta go twenty. Don't we? So now we've got that one in. All right, so now let's see if we wanted to do our, because it is good that the market was down just a bit. So we definitely want to sell our little put if we can. It's always best to do it on a little bit of a down day. Yep, so we've uh, continued going down since we have been together. So let's see if we can sell our little put. Let's see how much buying power we got. Trade micros. If we need to close some more that are profitable, close them. So we're going to go close to 60 days without going over. So that's 49. Let's go to the 10% probability of being in the money. There we go. Got them all over the place. So, you know, why don't we get it a little farther out? We'll go 18. Sell it for 18. Uh, buying power effect. Resulting buying power for options is sixty dollars. So that's enough. And then we'll see. So let's go. Put that little baby where she needs to go. Right click. Move to group, and I'm going to move it to my short. Micro short puts. All right, so we got that in there. So now how much buying power do I have? Oh, I don't have a lot. I got 53. So I've got my orders in. So I may, may close some else. Let's see. What am I doing? Let's go to my short puts. See if there's something else I want to take on. Micro short puts here. Got 32 bucks on that one. We're up $1.50 on the day. Ready to close and order. $13.25. Take the $30. All right. Let's see what else we got. So now my I've got $679 in buying power. This one's up $32.50, up just a little bit on the day. Take your profit. Never be afraid to take profits. Get you a little buying power. Nothing that we closed today has created a loss. Isn't that cool? Just take a little profits off the table. Appease the option gods. $27.50. Yeah, we'll take that too. We'll take that money. Get out of there. Now, then, now I got me $1,500 buying power going in the weekend. Now we could easily get another margin call on Monday. We might have to do some more adjusting. If not, that's fine. All right, so let's go to the other camp. See how much buying power we've got over there. Right. Option buying power $550. I guess I could take two off just for the heck of it. The thing is, I didn't take off any of my one, one, one trades, did I? We take off some of those, huh? Let's, see. Let's go and do that. Probably the easiest way to do that would be to type in MES here and then go and see where these things are. So we've got one here at seven days uh, to go. So we've got a two, two, and a negative two there. 
I guess we close. What the heck is a negative two and a negative two beta? <laughs> I, you know, I wonder sometimes, what do I have on? But anyway, this is for profitable trade regardless of what it is. Let's close it. We sold something down here, and now it's dollar twenty. We can close that easily. Let's see if I don't have anything else down here. Let's just clean this up a little bit. Let's take some profit too. Close. Negatives. Dollar fifty. $737 in buying power. There we go. Let's take off that other one too because I, I really don't know what that is. Apparently it's something we sold down here for something, so let's buy them back. Close on for $1.80. Well, it lets you go for $1.80. Oh, we got feet. Doesn't matter. Okay. So we're out of that one. So now we've got $2,100 in buying power. That's good. It's really, really good. All right. All right, so that is the, has anyone ever got a margin call before? Ken, I know you've got a margin call. No, never. Really? Yeah, you know, I'm very careful about margin. Well, it was kind of funny that uh, my class at Alabama yesterday, they were, studying for a, an exam in their investments class and they i let them go through and practice some things with for their for the exam and they had little cue cards made up flash cards and one of them said margin call and it was talking about when your trades you know go against you uh really bad you we get a margin call and i was like eh, it's not necessarily the case i said you may be taking on a little too much risk it uh, doesn't necessarily mean that your trades have totally gone against you and they suck. So it was kind of cool. Now I'll be able to go in and, you know, next week show them, hey, I just got a margin call. And it really wasn't anything. You just, you know, use a little too much margin. Uh, the account said they were up a little bit today and you still get a margin call. And that's another thing, y'all. It, it said it was a futures margin call. So when I'm trading futures, what am I trading? I'm trading span margin. And span margin, is kind of a dynamic thing. It kind of changes, you know, with market conditions and everything. So, you know, it's been down just about every day this week. So the fact that I would get a margins call on futures is not surprising to me based on the amount of margin that we're using. So what we did, Bobby, yeah. This was the closest I've ever been to a margin call. I mean, I, I my buying power over you know, this morning dropped about 50% of what it was. So I took some positions off. I did what you just did for everybody. Give me some more elbow room. Yeah, give you a little room, right? Going yeah. into the weekend. You know, so don't necessarily think of it as a, as a, as a bad, you know, really, really bad thing. It's just, you know, it's, it's a thing. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. we have to deal with them. So if you do, you know, first thing a lot of people would do is panic. You go, oh, God, what do I do? I got to get on the phone with no, no, no. Just see what you can close. See how much, what's taking up your margin. Uh, close a few trades. As you saw, everything we closed was a, a profitable trade, uh, and we were still able to put on our fish in the bucket trade for today. We put on our uh, broken wing butterfly trade, so we were able to do everything, even in a day when it was a little bit, you know, dynamic. And I'm glad that we got to go through it today, because that's the biggest key: is where you make, where you lose money, is where we go into days and we can. And so then you start puking positions just to puke position. And you can really go in. You can very slowly, very methodically go through these things, close them, look at them, don't panic. Uh, you know, if you need to get somebody on the phone, I guess that's fine. But, you know, it's better for you to look after your own interest, certainly. So you start closing your own trades. Uh, don't let them tell you which ones to close and everything. I'm not sure that they've got your full interest at heart. So, you know, find what's profitable. See if you can close it. See if it's taking up some of your buying power and close them. And, and do it really, really slowly and methodically and don't panic.
That's the major key. That's good advice. See, you're you're the arbiter of your own fate. And they get when they look at accounts, these the guy who's behind that computer at the margin department's looking at your account, he's looking at yours and about a half a million more. And he ain't got time for you. He's going to hit market order. And that's what's going to get you out in the in a time perhaps when it's fast market and you're going to get taken to the cleaners, you know, especially with options. So you need to come out on, you need to operate on your own terms. And that's what it was. As I got close, I got about $1,800 of buying power this morning. I said, I better trim it up so that I have room to maneuver. And exactly. that's, yeah, never panic. You don't need, there's no need to panic. And the cool thing is, you know, I mean, I woke up this morning, you know, early and I didn't go, oh God, I got to do it before we all get together. Now I said, this is a great learning opportunity. Let's wait till we all get together. Yeah. You know, even at two o'clock, you know, you, we've got now an hour left in the market at no time. And my panicking going, oh God, I've got to close. I got to close. And market orders should be outlawed, right? You don't want to close anything in a market order. Do a limit order. You can always adjust as we did today. I tried to be greedy and get filled. Most of my greedy fields did not get feel you know my my greedy orders um but you know never go into the market order uh never use a market order with these things we always use limit orders you set your price you see what it's trading for trade around it see if you can get filled and uh you know going about your your merry day no need to to puke and panic <laughs> it's easy to do listen first time i ever got a margin call I'm like oh god what do i go to do you know Get on the phone. I'm not like, flipping out. Don't flip out. Look and see if you're, you know, your working orders in taste and think or swim sometimes take up buying power too. If you got too many of those out there, then you know you're gonna want to close some of those orders as well. So if you've got 20 orders out there, GTC orders, there's a good chance that that's having some effect on your buying power. So you got to keep that in mind. Then see. You know, group your position, see what's taking up the most buying power, and, you know, start to make adjustments. Just whittle down a little bit until you get a little bit of breathing room. So now I've got a little bit of breathing room in both of these accounts. Um, my delta is a little high in this account. You see it's 500. <laughs> I'm very, very bullish. Um, my theta is good, and my vega is very manageable. So, you know, I feel really good where I'm at here and in the other account. Any questions at all? I'm glad y'all at least got to go through this. I think going through a margin call, you know, you, there's the movie margin call, you know, and everybody's flipped out in that movie too, you know. And I think people die, jump off buildings, whatever. No need to die. No need to jump off a building. Just make adjustments and keep on trading. All right, guys. Good session. Y'all have a great weekend. Spend time with the one that you love, and I will see y'all on Monday.